What's going on everyone? It's Cook from One Last Try. We're bringing you something a little different today from our channel. We just finished playing RE7 and we wanted to cut together a short video to summarize our playthrough. We hope this will get you ready for RE8. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and turning on those notification bells. We'll be playing RE8 soon and it'll be awesome to have you getting scared with us. So let's get started. What happened in RE7? The game starts with the introduction of one of the main characters, Mia. The intro video here gives a lot of background as to why Ethan gets involved in the first place. Oh, good news! I'm gonna be coming home soon! Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have... All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. That's a pretty interesting introduction there. Mia's definitely terrified of something, hey, tells Ethan to stay away, he... but of course that doesn't stop Ethan. You just disappeared the other night. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. After getting to Dolby, Ethan finds Mia pretty quickly. It's me. It's Ethan. She doesn't seem the same. Something's Ethan. a little off. You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Well, looks like there is something different about Mia. Mia, wait, wait. Who's Mia talking about here? Seems like she's being controlled by somebody and somehow given some superhuman strength. I've been back. I deserve this. Whew, that was intense. Ethan gets introduced here to Zoe for the first time. A character that he mostly interacts with through the phone but seems to want to help him. It's not clear what her motives are. Okay, cool. Seems like Mia's better now, and looks like we can just get along with getting out of here together, hopefully. Or not? I've done that! It fucking hurts! Ah! <sighs> 
Uh, uh. All right, I think things have gotten a little out of hand here, Mia. Ethan decides to follow Zoe's advice, gets to the attic, but looks like Mia's already beaten us there. Welcome to the family, son. And we meet someone else. Who's this guy? Come on. Don't you die on us now? You have work to do. <sighs> What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? This is looking like a nice, lovely family dinner here. I'm sure Ethan's super happy he's invited. Good. Dumb son of a bitch was no good if it hit him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, whew. I don't know about you, but that's not normal for my family dinners. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Come on. Ugh. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, he's not eating the jack! He's not eating Shut it! Shut the hell up, Marguerite! Oh, I'll for him! Get the hell out of here! You're a son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it, you son of a bitch! He's not eating it! He's not eating it! He's not eating it. This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. God damn it. I bet it's that cop again. God damn pigs. I'm and that's the Baker family, ladies and gentlemen. Marguerite lost her shit. Lucas lost an arm. Jack force fed us some delicious home cooked food. And we got Nana, who didn't say a word throughout the whole thing. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back! Put that door back! Wait! Wait. Uh, Okay, I guess Jack's pretty dangerous. Maybe he has some powers too. Perhaps given to him by the same person that gave Mia her powers? Ethan fights Jack here and it gets pretty toasty. Surprisingly, Jack doesn't seem to have a problem with getting burned up. A little later on in the game, Jack's back. Apparently fire won't stop him. Hopefully a chainsaw will. Do me a favor and stay dead. I think Ethan could work on his action one-liners. With Jack hopefully turned to mush, Ethan moves his focus to Marguerite, who's next up in the Baker family. Ethan better be careful of Marguerite. Those long arms are pretty damn scary. Definitely not normal human arms. Seems like she has powers too. And she seems to be pretty hungry. I think I'm gonna enjoy this! Ethan's able to take care of Marguerite. Hopefully she doesn't react to fire the same way Jack does. Uh, 
fucking stay dead, okay? Ethan comes across a formula for a serum that Zoe told him about. Apparently this will cure the Baker family, and all he needs to get is a zombie arm and a zombie head. And there's the arm. Check that one off the list. Oh god, I guess this is it. Right? Hey buddy! I thought you should know. I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She and Mia are here with me. And they're keeping each other company. Just now Ethan needs go. to turn his focus what to Lucas. No, Sounds like Lucas has Zoe and Mia trapped. Plus he's got the zombie head. Not your concern, understand? <clears throat> now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little uh, activity I've put together just for you. What activity? Oh, oh, oh. I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. Ethan finishes Lucas's challenge and doesn't have to fight him. He also yeah. finds Mia, yeah. Zoe, and the zombie head. Looks like everything's all set up for them to be able to escape. We're just beyond the pier, outside that room. Hurry! Hurry! And give me the serum ingredients. Right here. There should be enough, right? If we make them fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Wait. This Daddy's coming? Is Jack still alive? <sighs> Ethan's able to rescue Zoe and Mia, and Zoe's able to create the magical serum with her bare hands. But who are we to question her methods? This is gonna save everyone's life, right? Hey! One of those is mine! Get your ass back to the house! I will deal with Yikes, so I guess Jack is still alive. This isn't the Jack that I remember though. Hopefully this is the end of Jack. Seems like the only way to beat him was to inject him with that sweet, sweet serum. But now we only have one left, so what happens next? Come on, Mia's waiting for us. I had to use one of them. There's only one left. There's only one left. Ah, uh, okay. So Ethan needs to choose whether to save his wife or a woman he's talked to on the phone a couple times. The choice here is pretty obvious. It's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. But Zoe... Go! Both of you just go! Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is not home. Apparently I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help!
Ethan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. <sighs> Mia, I know you've been through a lot. We need to talk. You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Ethan and Mia have a heart to heart. Seems like they have a few things that they need to work out, but seems like Mia's still hiding Honestly, something. I don't remember. Try. Ethan and Mia come across this giant ship, which Ethan has learned about throughout the game by finding newspaper clippings. It seems like this giant ship is the origin of the evil presence that's given Mia and the Bakers their powers. You're okay. What the hell was that? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Mommy. This way. And of course there's a scary little girl. The game then shifts to you playing as Mia, trying to save Ethan who's been captured by, I think, the scary little girl. And here Mia meets Evie for the first time in the present day. She doesn't seem to remember her, but they do have a history. And in a flashback sequence, we learn a little bit more. Turns out Mia isn't the type of babysitter you normally think of. Seems like she works for some sort of corporation that was transporting Evie on this ship. Then things went wrong. We'll be together forever. Back in the present, Mia finds Evie and Ethan. I need you to do something. Ethan. Ethan's wrapped up in some sort of cocoon. And then we see some dream sequence, I think, where we see Jack explaining to Ethan, what actually happened to their family? Hey, shh, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... 
She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her. You stop her. Turns out it's actually a pretty sad story. The Bakers seemed like they were a nice, normal family, and they were trying to do something nice by saving this little girl who they found by this blown up ship. Evelyn, stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Mia, how? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Mia saves Ethan and sends him to go find Evie. Which is a little weird because it seems like that's her in the room, but turns out Mia. that's not actually her. No. Ethan needs to go back to the house to find her. Ethan faces off against Evie in the final battle of the game. He injects her with a neurotoxin and transforms her back to her true form. Turns out it was Nana all along. Luckily, Ethan gets a little bit of help. Somebody throws him an Albert weapon, which could be a nod to Wesker from previous Resident Evil games, and he's able to use that to destroy the final form of Evie.
I'm Redfield. After the fight's over, Let Ethan's go. saved by Redfield, who could be Chris Redfield from previous Resident Evil games, but not quite sure on that one. Mia's already on the Umbrella Corporation chopper and she's getting medical attention. Seems like she's gonna be okay. And you would hope that her and Ethan would have a nice happy ending, but you know Ethan's the main character of Resident Evil 8, so his story's not done yet. But does anyone else from RE7 play a part in RE8? Not quite sure about that yet, but we know Lucas is still alive, we know Zoe's still alive. And you would figure that Mia would play a little part in it at least, especially if Ethan's the main character. We're going to find out the answer to those questions though when we play through RE8 on our channel, so please make sure to subscribe and turn on those notification bells and come play with us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good night. thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens.